friends myself rakesh on behalf of expo hub so today in this tutorial we are going to learn about the assign activity so assign activity is a very critical activity that uh, you will be using inside a project and this assign activity is used to assign a value to a variable let's say you want to sum two different numbers you want to add two numbers so that is where we will be using the assign activity that is one of the example and one of the greatest example is inside a loop right when we use a do while loop or while loop uh, assign activity becomes very handy to use it as a counter variable so we increment the number one by one until it meets the condition right the loop will be running so those are the areas where we will be using the assign activity okay so this is the learning objective guys we will see how to use an assign activity let's get started all right so first thing is uh, what i'm going to do in this example is i'll start with a very basic thing where i am going to ask a customer uh, two numbers okay so what i'm going to do is now in the input dialog box i'm going to say enter first number okay so this is the title uh, label where i have to type title will be on the top of the box it will come okay for example let me type expo okay that will come as a title you can see that and then second thing enter second number okay all right the moment you do that uh, first thing is in the output variable control k and create a variable i am creating as num1 second also i will do a control plus k create another variable num2 done now i will use simple assign activity okay and here in the assign activity i am going to create another variable called num3 okay so and here what i'm going to do is i'll go to the variable panel and here i am from the generic value i will change all of them to integer 32 type because i am going to handle with numbers all right so now all i'm going to do here is num one let's say plus num two so both the uh, the value that is passed from the customer input that will stay in num num one and num two variable and the sum of these numbers will pass to num three and the last thing i'm going to do is use a message box and here i'm going to say type num3 now num3 if i type num3 this is an integer type isn't it this is an integer type okay so i'm going to convert this to dot to string all right so now everything is perfect let's run this okay asking for the first number let me say 10 asking for the second number let me say 5 and it can it is giving the sum okay the same example what we will do we we are going to design um, a do while loop okay let's see that how it works in the do while loop so what i will do for that i'll create another let's say flow chart i'll use a flow chart and here i will say assign example I'm going to drag and drop the do while loop. Okay. All right. Now inside the do while loop, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a assign variable. Okay. So I'll tell you. assign variable and here i am going to create a variable okay so control k and i will say count up the variable name is count up okay and here i will say count up plus one so every time it uh, you know runs it so this i am going to make it integer type and the start value would be zero 
okay starting value i am assigning a default value as 0 so what would happen for the first time when it will run it will say 0 plus 1 so counter value would remain 1 so i am saying run until counter is equals to let's say 3 time okay until the counter becomes 3 so it will run 3 times okay so in between that what i will say i you will uh, i'll use a message box drag and drop inside so it is going to just show me the counter value so counter dot to string so it will give me one two three four right that is the count so so let's see that let me run it okay so the first time it said zero plus one so it said one okay uh, uh, until the counter equals to three let me see what went wrong okay so here uh, the problem here is counter equals to three so now the counter is one so it does not meet the condition so the do while loop will not work so all you need to do is counter is less than three so until the counter is less than three it is going to work so it should meet the condition okay if you say equals to three counter value is one so counter is not equal to three right it will not run so it will exit out, out of the loop so that is the whole reason so let me run it so it's saying one two and three then it will loop out okay so this is where uh, you will be using an assign activity and this is something we use in the project multiple times you know more often you'll be using this so this is all about the assign activities guys please do not forget to click on the like button that is something required for this channel please ensure you click on the like button and do subscribe to the channel we will come up with more interesting videos for you guys thank you friends have a wonderful day